let's get to the process. I mean, what's the worst case scenario here? Um, uh, because we were, as, as we were saying, the, there seems to be real political will on the part of the executive and the legislature uh, and our legislators. They, they boiled it down to a specific line. They're saying we'll keep it to one, uh, to, to, we'll keep it to one particular line that we want to insert. Uh, what are your concerns, whether it's the process, the timing, or as uh, uh, Attorney Monsod said, the, the content itself? Uh, it's the, the, it's the, it's all, all, all of the above. All of the above. The timing, the content, the process. Hmm. All of them. The, 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 the content, because there is absolutely no reason to believe that foreign investment will all of a sudden blossom here in the Philippines just because we change the, the economic provisions of the Constitution. That was, I mean, all uh, the, the studies have shown that the, the one thing that, that uh, creates investment is, you know, following the rules of the game, all the things that, that Christian was talking to you about following the rules of it, you know, making sure that nobody, uh, I mean, not, walang ma, walang ma, mawawalaan, meaning to say that if, if somebody no comes way. in, they're, they're sure that the contracts that they hold are going to, are, are, are going to stay. Look what happened to the uh, water, water contracts, say, water supply, yung mm. Manila and, uh, and Manila and, uh, water. Yes. Yeah. Manila Water. Yeah. I mean, they won an ar they won an arbitration yeah. decision, right. mm. and yes. the president just said, "I'm not going to do it." Mm -mm. You know, mm -mm. and of course, the, the people accepted it. I mean, you know, they're, they're Filipinos. He, he consumed his, I think, in the in the um, in the Ayalas. But do you think the foreign investors will will uh, will yes. mm. not think? Twice, three times, four times, my God, they come in and then all of a sudden they're left without anything. Those are the kinds of things that everybody talks about as being the things that encourage foreign investment. Mm -hmm. So in terms of the content, voila, they just want, I mean, I, I really believe that. You know, yes, sir. But, know, but, all it takes is, is Congress to change the law and th that will that will that will create all sorts of of uh, invest i mean in that will create a lot of opportunities for investment no they won't come here unless the investment climate is right and right now the investment climate is not right mm -hmm. okay but, of course then we... let's go to yeah, the extreme is... of ownership and uh, liberalizing ownership uh, what what is the what industries will be will be most uh, <laughs> let's say put at risk by a uh, a, a liberal liberal liberalizing of ownership? Uh, Listen, if the the climate was good, there will be investment from the Filipinos themselves. Look at look look at our big big, uh, uh, our 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 richest people, Me, mainly the Chinese. They're the biggest investors in China and Taiwan. Why aren't they investing here? Hmm. My goodness. Okay. You know, they, and they have not, and and there are, there is no limitations on their investment here, and they're not investing. Hmm. Why are they doing it in China and in Taiwan and wherever it is? Because the investment climate is better there. Mm -hmm. So it's all you have to do. Goodbye.